Okay. All right, I'm just gonna give myself a little clap. Oh, did we need to all do a clap? We're, sorry, yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just not synced at all there, were we? But anyway. Oh, he's done it anyway. Great. Okay, now we can get back to it. Dad doesn't like it when we have breaks like this. He's in his zone, he's in his zone. And now we're, he's ready to go. Like a bull in a pen. Right, that's recording. That's recording. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good day. A little update. It's been bonkers. I thought I was going to set the camera up and record all of my activities that I would get involved in during the week and that hasn't necessarily happened. Well, it hasn't happened. I only ever put this on record when I'm back in the room. So I have done a bunch of interviews for production with fighters and uh, I've been interviewed myself, went out in front of the media. That was kind of cool that we, as commentators, uh, and uh, I hate the word, the talent team, went out there and got paraded. So that was nice to see everyone and answer some questions. And uh, I went on the Schmoes podcast as well. So thank you to those guys, um, the Schmo and Helen, for having me on there. And then I played a, a trivia thing last night with the team. We came second, super close, super close. We changed a couple of answers. If we hadn't done that, we would have won. And it, what makes it worse is it was the exec team as well. It's like all the senior people in the UFC that, that came first. But anyway, I'm not bitter. Uh, but I've just realized I've not been outside for two days. Uh, maybe longer. No, no, two days, yeah, because I would have had to have transited outside to get to the arena on the weekend. I'm gonna go outside and have breakfast outside. I've promised myself breakfast on the balcony. And then it's back to it, weigh-in day. No shows for me to do today, so it's all about uh, getting ready for tomorrow. So I've got a little bit of time, which I need to take advantage of. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for that breakfast. Come on now. about being here and yeah we're nearly there last couple of events woo. I, I get it I, I get people missing home particularly if you've got a family but I don't know if you, how you can let your mind get there at the moment not too many generations ago people were going to battle and never knowing if they were going to get home my family's safe at home I'm bringing home the bacon and I'm doing something that I love around a Great team in a wonderful place. Very lucky right now. I know far too many people that are struggling, especially in the creative industries. So this is awesome. And then this like different world that they have over here. It's Friday, which is their weekends. I think they have weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're back to work. So last night, that club that you see was pump in until nearly 3 a.m. <clears throat> which isn't actually a problem because I'm up till 4 or 5. I don't see more people out in the boat. I like this life on the water. Yeah, I quite like the smaller boats as well. I've seen guys who are maybe a little bit older than me going out onto their little boats and tinkering, getting it all fixed up, ready to go. Casually cruise out of this marina and then go exploring. A bit different back in the UK though. Those waters would be a bit choppier. But I like the idea. We all have to have dreams. Very cool, love the water. Dream all day, but uh, that's not super productive. I'm gonna need to do the show. The dreams, the dreams fall down if the shows aren't good. Let's go. Oh, I gotta laugh. <coughs> Check this dude, check out this guy right here. Can we get 
get back on. They're being towed off as well. Up the hill. I've got to be honest, it doesn't feel like a fight day at the moment. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, because normally for me, fight day means I'm sort of in semi-panic mode, rushing like crazy to get all my stuff done. And I'm not rushing like crazy to get my stuff done. I think there's a part of me that thinks I've got all my, most of my stuff done, there's only a few bits left to do, but I just know I'm going to end up panicking in a minute when I know, when I realise that there's a whole shed load of stuff to do. I haven't worn this shirt in years. I never really go with the double cuff because I feel it makes noises uh, on the desk. And also, when you're writing notes and you've got a double cuff shirt on it, it just gets in the way. It's not as practical. When I used to work in the city, you would destroy anyone that didn't wear a double cuff shirt. And if you had the pocket as well, oof, you rip that mother lover off. It's a change though, one gets older, more mature. Some shirts are easy to iron, beautiful. You can spend a ridiculous amount of money on a garment and then it's okay one time. And then after that, you can never iron it. It never looks good. And look at this. You see the effort. And then that's barely looks like I've touched it. So yeah, 25 past five now, quarter to 11. Got to be uh, downstairs to get a bus ride for an 11 p.m. call time. And I would imagine that means that at midnight, we are going to start the broadcast. So, six odd hours away. I am light on a few fights, if I'm honest. I've reached out to all of my, all of my little birds. For those of you who would understand that phrase. I haven't gotten anything back, which is slightly worrying, so I have to follow up. Working with DC later, that's exciting. We've never worked. Dan and I haven't done a three booth with DC before. I worked with DC in Brazil one time. We had some Machida and we had uh, that craziness with Colby Covington when he beat Damien Meyer and then started saying ridiculous things about Brazilian people and Sao Paulo. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That, they were good times though, good fun. I had, a, I had a really fun broadcast with Daniel. Don't tell him that I've been, I've been paying particular attention to wrestling terminology. Sadly for me, it doesn't, doesn't always uh, sink in, but I have been making a little bit of an effort and I'm hoping that I'll be able to sort of leave uh, some of that stuff from him in the broadcast later. I think when Cormier starts really diving into kind of wrestling coach mode during a broadcast, I think that's uh, when he's at his very best, because he's always uh, entertaining. Dan's Dan, Dan will always uh, bring his A game. But I've got to try and make sure we get like, a decent balance and flow going.
one thing I hate in life is like wasted effort or duplication of effort. And now I feel like I've made all this effort to make this shirt look nice. And yet it looks like I've literally just not bothered. One last go at pressing this. Look at these bad boys. Huh? Look at these. These were a gift from one of my closest buddies. I was best man for him. And uh, me and this other guy, Phil, joint best men, Mont Blanc. We got these as a thank you. I don't think I've worn them yet. And Steve. Steve's been married a long time. So, rolling these out for the first time on a UFC event. Versus conventional fighter. Oh, oh he's hurt coming in. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness, he's never been on the front of the finish. Oh, my goodness. Now, Mago gets it done early. Oh, wow. Was in, in Europe that wanted to ground him. And, and, oh, what a goal. You know, so Jessica Andrade is a fantastic fighter, and right now she's been able to implement her game plan very effectively against Caitlin Chikagi. Oh, something's happening. Oh, yeah, she's attacking the body. Yeah, she's attacking the body. She's down. <laughs> is there anything better than John Gooden saying Abu Dhabi? What is <laughs> Abu Dhabi? And welcome tonight from Abu Dhabi. I love John Gooden. He's the best. He's like best bow ties in the game. Good night. Good morning from Abu Dhabi on Fight Island. Like those guys are the best. Dan Hardy standing the whole time. I mean, maybe yeah. I just want to work with the English crew the whole time. Maybe this is my new uh wheelhouse. It was great.